Oh hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel, welcome back. I'm Mariam, and today I will be joined by none other than the Swatch model to lip swatch the new collection from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the Bright and Bold Pout Spoken Liquid Lipstick Collection. And today we are going to be applying them all onto the lips and swatching them. Apparently you guys liked seeing the Swatch model in my previous lip swatching video, so by popular demand, we decided to bring him back just for fun and just for making this video just a little bit extra special. So without further ado, let's get into it. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already, hit that notification bell, all the good stuff, and now let's get into this lip swatching video. Jaclyn Cosmetics, Bright and Bold, Pout Spoken Collection, here we come. Well, first of all, bam, we've got the swatch model back. Yo, Yay, what up, familia? Watch. I'm here with the lips, baby. Today, we are going to be lip swatching and reviewing the new Jack and Cosmetics Hill. Bright and Bold Pout Spoken, Spoken Lip Collection with liners. With liners. Let's open it up. Because you ain't liners. He's already <laughs> off to a good start. All right. So, in this collection, we have <laughs> looks like seven new lipsticks. We've got seven new lip liners that are matching, that are supposed to go with the liquid lipsticks. Also, okay. We have a pencil sharpener. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's got a logo on it too. That's kind of dope. With a little J on it. This is I like that. $9, I believe. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. $9 <laughs> by itself? <laughs> so you can buy it? It doesn't just come free? Not according to my girl trend mood. <laughs> okay. $9. Damn, okay. It's kind of a lot. Okay. Moving right along. Moving right along. In this collection, okay. we also have a Pout Off Nourishing Lipstick Remover, which is basically a new and innovative formula, quote unquote, that allows you to remove liquid lipstick easily. So it looks kind of like a bomb. So we're definitely going to be testing it out while we're conducting our swatches. Ooh, it's very oily. Look. That's kind of cool, actually. Kind of nice. Because, you know, those liquid lipsticks, the non-transferable ones, they're right. so difficult to remove yeah. sometimes. And they're so super drying. So this is a nice little addition. How much is it? $20,000. $20, actually, it's $14. Wow. Huh. How long do you think something like this would last? It's not bad. Not I mean, a lot though. It's not a lot? I wouldn't Definitely know. Definitely not a lot. Hmm. You know, but it travels well. Is there like things like sprinkling out of it? Did you see that? No. Very oily. Okay. So moving right along. And I guess since we're on the prices, let's just go ahead and talk about the prices of these liquid lipsticks. $20 for each of these liquid lipsticks and $18 for each of the lip liners. liners. All right. So without further ado, we are going to start. Why don't I go for the bright? And you go for the bold. Okay. Here's your first. Are there names or is it just kind of like? Yeah, so okay. you're going to go for the Easy Peasy Lip Liner. That's what it's called. And Easy Peasy <laughs> Liquid Lipstick. So I can't say that I've ever done a liner, I'll be honest with you guys. I know there's the outlining thing that girls like to do now. Or <laughs> you like to do. <laughs> and boys. And boys. All right, quick little tip. You One have very full lips, so I don't think you need to overline. I'm going okay. to overline because I'm an overlining queen. And if Marilyn can do it, so can Mariam. Okay, judge me if you won't, but don't judge. To show off the color, you might want to just fill it in a little bit just so we can Maybe. show off the color. Oh, you guide me. All I'm right, going so in. Lee is starting with Easy Peasy Liner. And I am going to go for Yes Bitch Liquid Lipstick and Yes Bitch Liner. Not bad. That's pretty good. But it's already a line you have to kind of follow. You know what? You have a very defined lip line. So someone with your kind of lip line probably can't really get away with overlining because your lip line is almost pointy. Uh -huh. And I always say that when you try to overline a very defined pointy lip line, it becomes a little bit problematic. Mine is like pretty flat on the top. Like you can't really tell the difference between my skin and my lip texture wise. So I like to overline. Did I not press hard enough? Because yours looks mighty brighter than mine. <laughs> or is that just a color thing? Yeah, you might want to press a little harder. I just don't want to break it. Actually, we want to test if it'll break. So you want to press as hard as I think you would, need to. Oh, then I'm going into a second coat. Now, does the lip liner generally match the lipstick? For bright colors, yes. It technically should be matching. Is this good? I think that's pretty good. All right, so I will say the formula of this lip liner is very, very comfortable. This particular color, the Yes Bitch, glided on rather effortlessly, very Same. smooth and just very precise. I have no complaints. Same, very smooth. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that was probably my second time in my whole life doing that. Maybe third, possibly <laughs> fourth. <laughs> and that was really easy. Yeah. All right. And now on to the liquid lipstick. 
All right. Oh, oh boy, lips, liquid lipstick. So yeah, once again, let's make sure that we're grabbing the right shade. I'm okay. going for yes, bitch. And I'm going for easy peasy. Easy peasy. So do I shake it? Do you have to shake no. it? Like, okay, you just the formula is already perfect. No need for shaking. It should be. And then so you just kind of put it on. Yeah, we're try not to touch your two lips together until the color is thoroughly dry. That's why I'm talking like this right now. Okay. Uh oh shit. What? It, it just I feel it's uncomfortable. Why? I don't know. I'm nervous. What was that? I had to swallow saliva and I didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> is like one dip good for roll? Uh no. Ooh Yes bitch. That is a hot fire color. I'm obsessed. Oh my god. Notice my liner today? Oh, this shit. actually occurred from a mistake and then I decided to get creative and make it work But I think it really works with this lip. Don't you think this is the kind of color that I would wear literally with just a cat eye liner Or with like a graphic unique type of liner like I'm wearing today and maybe just like some bold lashes or maybe no liner at all Maybe just really bold lashes. What do you think? <laughs> Let me fix your lip. I don't know. What the hell did you do here? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to model <laughs> Are you asking for my opinion? I'm a model and also a swatcher. Yeah, I don't give opinions, I give looks. Come on now. Why don't you come all the way to the corner? I was scared. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I was scared, man. <laughs> I'm talking a little ass corner. I can't do videos with this guy. I like something comes over me. All right. Here right, we go. Do I squish them together? No, no, no. No squishing together. They, right. they need to dry. Look at that. Ooh. How does it feel? Um. <laughs> 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 like a wet chapstick. Yeah. Went on soft. Feels good. Actually, I want to say that I kind of don't feel like I have anything on outside of like a bomb, if you if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Like a nice thick coat of a nice beard, like a nice bomb that you like to put on when it's cold outside. That's you know, I, from someone thoughts. who wears lipstick all the time, this feels particularly comfortable on the lips. Very, very good, easy, comfortable. It dried super quick. No transfer, but also the fact that I did a second coat on Lee shows me that this is a flexible formula. Oh. Damn, this color. Damn, I did the first time I looked in the monitor to take a look at this. That's a nice ass color. Yeah, it's a very wearable color, I would say, but I prefer mine. I like mine. Yeah, it makes your teeth look really white. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, show us all your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you like the lipstick? <laughs> your great teeth, love them. Thank you. All right, now let's try out Mwah. this Pout Off Nourishing Lipstick Remover. Let's like see it how it actually too. works out. Mm, nice and oily. And let's see how- <laughs> That felt so funny. It does feel very slippery and very oily. That's a good thing, I imagine. Yeah. All right, so now grab a tissue and let's see how easily this comes off. But why does it look so pretty with it? I know, it gives it like a little <laughs> gloss. All right, ready? Uh-huh. Mm. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so this lip oil or balm remover, I think makes the liquid lipstick come off easy, but not so much the lip liner, because my lip liner is still pretty much intact. Try it one more time. Let me just get in there. Oh my. No, I really want to put it to the test. Do you have to give it time? I'm honestly not sure. I'm kind of just winging it, because so. there was no tutorial. There wasn't like anything. All right, that so I I'm just gonna online. give it a couple seconds. And... I didn't like it for the liner, so I'm actually using one of my own removers. You're moving your foundation too. Oh yeah. All right, so here I am. I think about 10 seconds in, I went in heavy, just second coat. I don't want to rub too hard. I don't know. Look. Yeah, it's still a little stained. All right, that's okay. But it's still it's helping. Start, right? It's still helping to remove it. All right, so the next lipstick I want to try is, is coming in hot and coming in hot liner. And, and you're gonna go for the darker I was like shade. Looking at it, and this is you guys. You guys. For me, you guys. So liner, same principle, right? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Doing great, sweetie. All right, so I am ready with my liquid lip. Coming in hot. That's not so bad. Is it okay? Can I yeah, go? you yeah? did great. Okay, great. So let me go in with you guys' liquid lip. All right, and while you do that, I am going to module this shade that I just applied called Coming In Hot. I like the shade a lot. I feel like it's a really pretty, slightly burnt orange type of shade that is making my skin look really nice and glowy and golden. This is the type of shade that, on me, makes my skin look better. It kind of just hides any discoloration or like any imperfections that I may have on my face. It just makes me look extra golden and glowing, like golden hour. And again, super duper comfortable on the lips, easy to apply. I like it. 
and it dries down really quickly. How'd I do? <laughs> Not amazing. I got it on my teeth. So this is the next lip swatch by Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. <laughs> this one's called You Guys. Holy shit. Uh, it's because you're talking. All right, just close your mouth. And wait, why are you not coming up all the way to the lip line? I'm getting nervous. Don't talk. You asked me a question. Don't talk. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that alone. I just perfected the top lip line. I'm on my teeth. What do we do here? Is, is it transferable? Yeah, it's got real. Yeah, just let it dry and then you can wipe your teeth. Okay. It looks. I think I did a bad job. <laughs> you did a terrible job. But the color's nice. It is really nice. All right. I am ready to remove. It's smearing it. Now I got new on. Perfect. I actually like the way this feels a lot, by the way. Yeah. I think this is a good product. But, like, you can get really silly with it, right? Look. You can get very silly with it. <laughs> it's a look. It's a look. All right, the problem with this though, that it does get very dirty, so you almost either have to apply it to your finger and then to your lips, or you have to make sure that you wipe it quickly, but then you end up using up a lot of product. We've been yeah. using it. <laughs> yeah. <We've been> using <laughs> it. No! Oh no! So go back? Go back! Uh, go like that, so it sucks it back in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go. Nice right. product, but I definitely need a lot more of it. Because I feel like we're going to use up this whole stick by the end of this video. Yeah, I like the way it feels. Right. It definitely does the job. This is the second time I put it on. You need a lot for these. Because these are strong colors, no? Mm -hmm. All right. So while you're working on that, I am going to go yeah, for like going another to... color. Okay, go for it. Look at that. And the next color that I am going to go for is... I'm in it. You know what? I kind of mushed my lips together. And? I think it's helping. This one is no rules. So let's do this. Liner. Liner. Okay, I'm in it. It feels like anybody who puts on makeup has to have like an artistic ability on some level. Not really. It's, it's kind of hard. For I think me. it's just a matter of practice. Maybe. Like, for example, I do my own nails, right? And I absolutely cannot write with my left hand, but I can absolutely do all types of nail art with my left hand. And sometimes I even compensate and my right hand ends up looking even better than the left because I'm doing it with my non-dominant hand. Just a matter of practice. I think this one's good. I did pretty good this yeah. time. Yeah. got a little upper thing going on right here. Yeah, in the bed. I, on the other hand, am loving this shade. It's kind of like a muted, more mature version of Yes Bitch, right? Because Yes Bitch was very blue tone, it was very, very bright, but this one, I'm in it, it's just like a little bit more subdued. It's still very bright, but it's like a wearable bright, don't you think? I think it's very pretty. All right, so I'm gonna apply the no rules now after I've done such an amazing job with the liner. Would people say that liquid lipstick are easier or harder than lipsticks? Harder. Liquid is harder? Uh-huh. I thought so too, I just wasn't sure. Yeah, you gotta be a little bit more precise with it. But again, it's just a matter of practice. I was gonna say that, guys. Like with lip, li with lip, but with liquid lipstick, you absolutely need a lip liner if you're a newbie, just to help guide you, you know? Oh, okay. I like the colors, I have to say. Yeah, this one's really, really cute. It reminds me of Morange by MAC. Do you guys remember Morange? That was my shade back in like 2012. I remember I got my Naked 2 Cool palette oh. and I put on my Morin. Damn. I was that bitch. Or at least I felt like I was that bitch. This is hard, man. The whole area around your mouth is like so red and so I stained know. from rubbing and from getting <laughs> lipstick all over it. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and pout this. It hasn't dry yet, but I'm just going to do it because I feel like it does a better job of showing off the color. That's a really nice color. Which one's your favorite so far? Oh, the easy peasy, I would say, would probably look the best on me if I was trying to get somebody's attention. Who was mine? Yours, exactly. You know what to do. So what do you think? All right. I wonder what people's favorite are going to be. Comment down below. I wonder. Ooh, this last one is very, very stainy. I definitely have like a berry pout now. Yeah, you do. So how different are our skin tones? Well, you have foundation on. I don't think it's a fair comparison right now. <laughs> True. You know, but... I'm definitely more olive, uh -huh. you know, uh, but, and I think in general, you tend to lean a little bit more warm yellow, uh -huh. you know, but depends on the foundation you use, if you're mixing them or what mood you're in or what season it is. I know you tend to swing left or right mm -hmm. to kind of accommodate the hair or eyeshadow look that you're putting together. It was everything. I don't know where that just came from though, I swear to God. <laughs> From deep down. Deep down inside. From All right, are you ready to remove your yes, last lip swatch? Yes, I am. I have, lip swatch? I have the infinity <laughs> lipstick remover. What does that mean? 
that it lasts forever. <laughs> that's all that's left? That's all that's oh left. Oh my god! I don't want to go too far. Yeah, yeah, yet. yeah, that's it. It's about right. to fall out. It feels so good though. And I'm gonna attempt to apply this last shade, which is. I'm gonna go hard right here. Wow. Well, this is my doing last that. lecture. I'm having some fun. Can I speak? I'm having fun. This looks great. All right, I'm just gonna apply the last is shade. You, you ever get like mad? <laughs> you ever get mad while putting on lipstick? You're a mother. Hate them. Is that what you imagine when I apply lipstick? Yeah, I imagine. But you always come out looking dope. All right. In control is the last shade. That's me, baby. No, In control. mine. <laughs> no, no. I'm using no rules. Oh my god. <laughs> That's right. Well, I wanted to show. I went heavy with the remover. And then I rub my lips because I felt like that might be a good technique. And I would say that's pretty good. And so this would be my second time. So this is the first time I remove it. Came off a lot. Let's try it. Second time. Okay, I went kind of light ish ish. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub them together. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, I think, and see, not, that wasn't a baby color. That was a bright color. That was a bright color. I'm on to the last shade, but first I wanted to show a full swatch of the In Control Lip Liner. That's a nice color, by the which way. Which actually looks really great and really pigmented. That's a really nice color. Yeah. On and I like, it looks sophisticated too. And now I'm going to go with lipstick. Wait, wait, that was just a liner? Uh-huh. That worked for you. Yeah. That's pretty. In Control. That is a really pretty color for you. You should probably wear that controlling color. Yeah, it's like... Heart coral, yeah. heart brick, it's a heart little, rosy. It's a bit cool too, yeah. which I like. Because it, it pops against my skin tone. Exactly. Or against my foundation. Anyway. I like it. I don't in know, control. I think I like it. Very pretty on you. All right, so that is the end of our lip swatches, swatch Yay, model. Yay, we did it. We did it, I girl. I was, I applaud your girl. <laughs> I'm your man, cause I'm your man. Nice. You like that. And you are my. Oh, <laughs> look, something's it's overheating or something? Yeah. Shit from our, your singing? <laughs> I guess so. We got a new camera, by the way, if you guys notice the difference, because we're officially 4K! 4K! This is the end of the video, you guys. This is what I wanted to say. I wanted to wrap this video, and um, I guess my first impression on these lipsticks is that I like them. I think they're really nice. I think the colors are vibrant. They're wearable. They're very flattering. I agree. Also, I would say everything feels very nice and comfortable on the lips. The only you concern think? that I have is that there's absolutely not enough product in this bomb remover. But for $14, I would say it's not that bad. Definitely not as bad as that $9 lip sharpener. Well, we haven't tried it yet. So we I don't think that's fair. Cause maybe you just like do it once and it's like the perfect like point. Forever. Forever, like it lasts. You maybe. don't know, you really don't. Like you let's really be don't. fair. Like this is a truth channel, so. You're right. Okay. So we will update you on that. Yeah. Anyway, let us know what colors were your favorite. I think some of my favorites were the first shade that I tried, Yes Bitch, and also the orange shade that Lee tried on. It uh, reminded um, me of Morange. No rules. No rules. How so can yes. I forget? No rules. No rules and Yes Bitch were my favorite ones, but I do yeah. like this one. Basically, I like all of them. That's what I'm trying to They're say. They're nice colors. There's really not one color that I don't like, and I will definitely try them out, and I will definitely wear them in further videos, so stick around for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and for subscribing. For subscribing. That's what you do. You subscribe to the channel. <laughs> For uh, <laughs> continuing to watch up until this very silly point. Shall Farewell. We? Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Sorry if I didn't swap, swap the lips so well this time. I think you did great. You think I did great? You always do great. I'm hard on myself. I, I always want to bring it for my team. <laughs> Movies are where? Right here. <laughs> Right there. That's the next video. All right. Get out of <laughs> Bye here. Bye, guys. Love you.